This is Speakers of Highland. With Lucille Bravestone, Barrow Sombrero, and Lonigan Cypher. It is that time again. Not an unusual uh, Saturday uh, evening. It is Monday, the 30th of March, 2015. <gasps> Why ah. are you streaming now? Well, because previous episode, our previous episode that we had on Sunday sort of got messed up. You're watching Speakers of Hydaelyn, if you were wondering. I am Lakeel Bravestone, and today I am joined by Vero Sombrero. And let me show you who's not here. That's right, Lonigan Pfeiffer is not here today. I apologize, well, I don't apologize for him not being here, but I mean, it's his loss. Uh, we're gonna talk about patch 2.55. We got some more news. Uh, we, we spoke about this um, in the previous episode, and Vero is, of course, doing stuff while we're doing the show. Uh, so we're gonna talk a bit more about that uh, because it is coming out tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the last patch for A Realm Reborn um, also quickly mentioning again that the live letter, um, the live party, and also a big discussion about Heaven's Word, and at the last part of the show, we will take your questions, dear viewers. So please do send us questions in chat or on Twitter at SpeakersXIV. So Vero, like usually, we would ask what you did the past week. Now, we've already sort of talked about this in the previous episode, but seeing as that won't be podcasted on iTunes for our podcast listeners, you might have to tell us tell us once again what you did last week. Quickly. Quick recap. Not, okay, not much. I uh, cleared uh, Crystal Towers. Um, I upgraded some gear and uh, yeah. Yeah. Basically, a normal week. We yeah. also failed one day, uh, a couple of days back. You can watch it all on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. It was the day we wiped at everything. Um, so, uh, let's talk about patch 2.55 then. Uh, yep. For those of you that don't know um, or are new to the game, there's a new patch coming up tomorrow. Patch 2.55. Um, it is the last patch before Heaven's Word. Um, so it's sort of concluding uh, the storyline of the Re A Realm Reborn. Um, so um, the, the game will be unavailable from March the 31st, that is tomorrow, from 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. GMT and uh, 10 p.m. Uh, March the 30th to uh, March the 31st at 4 a.m. PDT. Already gone through this. Um, patch 2.55. This is what we know. Final coil of Bahamut is being added to the duty finder. Um, what are your thoughts, Vero? We, we like our free company, <laughs> sort of, we, like, we really wanted to do raids, uh, but we started very late. I came from a link shell before I started this, just to, put, to get some backstory here. I Before we formed our free company, I came from a very active link shell. So I wanted to join a uh, free, or, or form a free company that was a bit more laid back. However, our free company is perhaps a bit too laid back, to the point where we can't even... Like, we, we barely... We, we're in turn 7 now. We beat turn 5, like, a couple of months ago. It's more like six months ago now, almost. Um, but um, having it in the duty finder sort of removes the magic from Final Coil. It's yeah. sort of it's not that raid yet, and I mean that, that that's what happens. Final Coil is getting old, so you have no thoughts about this very like it doesn't really concern us that much. But it's sort of sad to see that, to know for us at least, that, you know, when we clear second coil, final coil is going to be just the same. It's going to be, it doesn't mention nerf. No echo, no nerf is mentioned. But, I mean, it's going to come now, very soon. And we're not going to make it before that happens. Um, final coil of Bahamut loot restrictions lifted. So you can get as much loot as you want from final coil. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's really cool. 
But also, World of Darkness loot restrictions will be lifted with patch 2.55, so you can get as much loot as you'd like from this now as well. Really? Yes. Why? Because it's old content now. So you can finally get all that gear. You can grind your ass off and get all the sets. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's good. Because some of the World of Darkness gear looks good. Hello, Captain Bubbles. Mm, we just started. So, you're just in time. Um, so, um, so, there's no loot restrictions in World of Darkness anymore, which is good. Mm -hmm. Um... Main story quests added to finish off storyline for a realm reborn. That this we know the the storyline for a realm reborn is ending. Hey. Magitek armor mounts will now have music. Terra based theme from Final Fantasy VI. I'm just gonna show you a quick sound sample. If you haven't played it before, this is what it sounds like. I hope you can hear this. <laughs> It's a very iconic theme from Final Fantasy VI. It's really good. And it's it's now going to play when you mount your Magitek armor. Uh, Chocobo racing... This we talked about quickly, so we're just going to fly through this. Um, first of all, Vera, what do you think about the new theme? Having a new theme. Do you have Chocobo music on your Chocobo or your mounts? I haven't heard the new one. You haven't heard... No. Oh, you, oh, you or haven't Or any heard. song. That's true. You can't hear this. But what do you think about having a new song then, in general? Do you listen to the amount music at all? Because mm, I know a lot of people that yeah. don't even have it activated. Oh, uh, yeah, that's do you <laughs> a have flying thing. The chocobo? It's... No, the other one. <laughs> the fat chocobo? No! The flying thing? The, oh, the eye! Oh, the Araman. Yeah. Yeah, that, I like that. Yeah, the generic non-chocobo so... <laughs> music. Yeah, I get that. Mm, it's so chill. Uh, mini games will grant double MGP rewards in Gold Saucer. I've ranted about this. I don't like the mini games. They don't really concern me that much. They they bore me more than they cure born, boredom in my case. But those that like it like it, I suppose. If you get some points, maybe um, people will play it. It doesn't make it more fun though. No, but then people will play it because they, it's easy. Easy money. It's easy MGP, I, I see that. Easy. But it, it's, it's going to be doubled, yeah. so you get 10 instead of 5, so... Yeah, but I the, guess they're turning it up until people are start playing it. Yeah. Um, Chocobo Racing at higher ranks will reward more MGP. That's also cool. I, As I said earlier, I don't really... I haven't done a lot of Chocobo Racing, which really sucks, because I really look forward to it, but... Just haven't gotten to do it. Have you, Vero? Have you done more than... Chocobo Racing? Yeah. Not more than with you. Okay. It's not that fun. No. Uh, well, I don't know. Triple Triad NPCs will be made easier now. I don't know if you've had trouble with that, Vero. That what? MP that Triple Triad NPCs will be made easier. Really? Yeah. And, I mean, there are a few difficult ones, but... Um... They're making them easier. Don't know what they mean by that. Uh, triple tournament changes, triple triad tournament changes, and other gold saucer changes that are yet to be announced. So there are changes coming to uh, the gold saucer in general. Mm -hmm. um, so let's also talk about the. So that's that's pretty much all we know about 2.55. I don't think there's anything more. It's it's not. Um, um, it's not. Um, it's, it hasn't been uh, promoted as a big patch. I mean, it's it, it's it's just the end of 2.0. I know. Letter from the producer live party. I've we've also mentioned this before, but we're doing it again. It's on Saturday, April April the 11th at 3:30 a.m. PDT. Uh, and what's special about this one in particular is that for one, they have a new logo, and Two, uh, they will be premiering the opening of Heaven's Word, um, which is pretty cool. Um, you can watch this live on YouTube, live, Nico Nico live, and on the official Twitch channel. So please look forward to it. <laughs> um, we 
we're gonna look at some screenshots. This is where where everything went wrong in the last in the last episode. But I have I have here some some screenshots. Would you look at that? It even loaded. Really, you. You can see it's this. It's nice. So yeah. this is from the event that they are calling um, the Battle of Ishgard, or the, f the the name seems to be changing every now and then. So I'm gonna go for Battle of Ishgard. Um, so it's a massive event. Ev <laughs> wow, a massive event that is much like the Meteor event from 1.0. If you've played 1.0, you know what I'm talking about. Um, this dude here, for some reason, a uh, dragoon, <laughs> is probably from the main story. Yeah. Um, so let's just move uh, right ahead. Um, if 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 Lukiel knows how to how to do this, Lukiel does not know how to do this. Let's let's try this again. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yay. Uh, more main story with Menphilia. Mm -hmm. We we've already talked about this a bit, but. There is a rumor going around that someone is going to die. Really? Someone might be dying here uh, from the main story. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's v there are quite a few. Oh, that was, that was special. <laughs> I don't want anyone to die. No, but that seems to be where they're going with this. It's funny how this isn't working. Okay, there we go. There's Nanamo, a very popular. I'm not gonna go with. I'm not gonna go there. Um, I thought there were more pictures. There's the picture of the dragon. Um, look at that. That's awesome. You can also see the tiny, the smaller dragon there on yeah. the right side. You see the comparison. Um, what are they? You're smaller. Yeah, apparently smaller dragons. And here's the picture from the actual battle scene. Uh, itself so I I'm I'm pretty sure this is gonna be an open event seeing as they they brought in the um, the whole meteor event that it was mentioned in I don't know if it's meant if it was mentioned officially but it has been mentioned as sort of something you can um, compare it to but it's not gonna be as big as the meteor event so that's that's 2.55 and uh, the letter from the producer live uh, April 11th 3:30 a.m. PDT. Anything wrong with the game right now that you feel is missing? Like I have the one thing that I really would like is the ability to try on yeah, gear. Yeah, I was about to say it. Before you roll. Yeah. Because that is bothering the hell out of me. Like if something drops in say um, World of Darkness for instance where there's a lockout um, and you haven't seen the gear before, yeah. Uh, and you're standing there like, I don't know if I want this for glamour, and you don't know how it looks, and you roll, and <laughs> it looks like shit, and you've yeah, been locked out. It's weird that they don't have it, seeing as you can actually try on gear before buying it from vendors and merchants mm -hmm. and the market board. Um, so it's weird that you can't can't try it on in a dungeon. It sucks, but. Yeah, maybe it's to prevent people from just rolling on it for, for glamour. I don't know. But it would be weird anyway. Yeah, what um, if people do? They could roll for glamour anyways. Yeah, they could. So I don't, I don't see... It's one of those things that you feel like should have been in the game since yeah. launch. Just like the... Uh, and also a thing I would like, by the way, is we have like a compare item thing where you can compare weapons or yeah. gear with other gear to see if how good it is but the only thing that shows up in like green and red to show the differences is the magic like the defense and the like stuff like that it doesn't, it doesn't show the stats i want to see what stats are going up and down not the defense or physical damage no i understand yeah so i want that as well those two things would make me very happy if they implemented it correctly um but other than that, chat, do you have any questions that we can answer? We can do the view, the viewer questions now. Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, either about Heaven's Word or um, anything related to the game, now is the time. Yeah. Um, leave quests. Explain it for me. Why can I do more than a couple a day? Well, <laughs> leave quests. 
Varro. Leave quests. You you also know a lot about leave quests. You've probably done quite a few. You can you can't do more than. Uh... Well, I know why because uh, Ix has started playing the game not too long ago, uh, and you don't start with a hundred leave allowances. You start with seven, I believe. Or so something. when you get to level fifty, you can do as many as you want. No, Vero. You get leave can't. allowances. You can check how many leave allowances you have, but you probably have over a hundred, so you you don't even have to think about it. But how <laughs> how leave? I didn't even know. Like leave quests are um, they are one of many ways to to earn XP and gil. You don't earn a lot of XP. No, sorry, a lot of gil, but you earn some XP and some gil um, from it. But to do them, you need leave allowances. Uh, which you only generate about what is does anyone in chat remember how many leave quests or leave allowances you get per is it per seven I think it's seven or six hours between each um, Really? Yeah, it's it's a weird system um, mm. Which was very prominent in 1.0 I mind you um, but um, yeah, so that you're running out because you're not allowing them to build up. So I say save some leave quests and then wait for it to regenerate, uh, and do them, do them, do do all of them in mm -hmm. one in one day. If you want to do leave quest leveling, I per personally don't really like leave quest leveling mo mostly because you have a, I have a tendency to run out. <laughs> In the game, the right corner, the bottom, it's many green and gray and blue dots. That is your inventory. Yeah, that's the inventory. That it is telling you what's in your inventory. <laughs> um, I can't remember right now what the colors represent, but gray means obviously empty. Um, every time you level, you don't have to spend points. So you're, think you're talking about the attribute points, I guess. Uh, the attribute points are... You get 30 in total. Mm-hmm. So they are sort of just um, so that that's that's why you don't always get attribute points because y you have you're gonna get thirty points and they're just distributed evenly around. Um, I think it's at some point you get it from every second level. I think. But we're gonna wrap it up now. Um, I am uh, I'm out of stuff to talk about with with done our episode a bit on a different day than usual we usually stream on saturdays at 8 p.m gmt uh hopefully next week or actually it will be this week on either friday or saturday we will be there so we'll check out on our um our twitter uh, to see whether or not we will be streaming on saturday or friday how exciting that would be i am lakeel bravestone and thank you for watching and i've been joined by vera sombrero and Yay. it's time to say goodbye. So see you in just five days. Bye. So they will build on the Shiva story. So we all know that Shiva slept with a dragon. Mm -hmm. um, so which is an image I just cannot. I can't even. Yeah. Do they have a? Uh, just so many questions. Stuff. But she wants those. Answers. She's a heretic. I don't want. I'm sure. I'm sure if I really want to Google, if I go in a really Google hunt, <laughs> I'm gonna find stuff. I'm gonna find some real. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find everything there. It's just a size. Size differences. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if someone has made that kind of. How did she? Like. Do I they... know it's made. It's it's there. People do that. <laughs>